All right. Welcome, Market Roadmap. This is February 6, 2022. Let's jump into it here. So, once again, several weeks in a row here, I have pulled a list off of a scanner. I'm looking for a weekly uptrend, 8 above the 34, and a daily downtrend with the 8 below the 34. And we have a list. So, first up, ABT on the list well that was on the list before and it looks like the in the earliest entry is going here that I commented on before so we will have resistance up here confirmation is when we clear up here target up here move that out of the way so we've got in, you know potential entry right here if you want to um, get in now I would wait till prices are going positive above these little highs here around 130 so price moving up through there get you long confirmation up here around 135 for a target at 149 and then you know this one could run on out last time it looks like let's see yeah, out to the 1618 last time. So this time, if it got out to the 1618, 157. All right. AMAT below the roadmap line. AMD potential. We'll circle back. AVGO, same as ABT. Want to see a move up through this area to confirm 722, 778 are the upsides. And this one could go longer. Um, we could get out to 884. Cat, no. CCJ, no. Cost, looking good. I would want to, this one in particular, I want to see it clear this area right here before I was looking for an entry. You see this little resistance point right here on the way down. We came right up to the bottom of it. I want to see it poke up through before I was willing to get long on COST. It looks like uh, 600 or 634 or possibly even 700 upside targets. Cisco below the roadmap line still. You can set alert right up here around 57, but it needs to clear this, this, this stuff right here then this zone to get going positive. DIA, back up here looking pretty good. I think a lot of these are gonna need a, a dip with a higher low before they really get going. Just what I see right now. So DIA entry would be around here aggressively. Low. Yeah. Gotta clear this zone right here. F coming down to the roadmap line. This one may not find support until down here around 1530. So this is one to watch out for. It did come down to find support on the rub up line before.
It's already making an extension of that prior pullback. Could find support here, but just not sure. Just want to keep an eye on. So I'll move back above 21 there. Would be bullish. Then you got resistance right above that with the 618. Missed pivot right there. Just be cautious if you're looking to go long on Ford. Right now, I think it might be headed into this area right down here. breaks any lower probably heading down here if it bounces watch out for resistance there and then here above there it can get higher but it could bounce down there and it could bounce down here or break out All right, that's forward right now. FAS, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Needs to clear, needs to finish clear in this zone right in here. It's almost got it poked up. Get another daily close up in here. We're off to the races. Full disclosure, I am long calls out to March on FAS. Alright, this one. It's got a little box right here. Got a multi layered pullback going on. So it's got this bigger pullback and this smaller pullback. So breaking up. Yeah, so that's six, 618 over here providing resistance in this zone. That's where this is coming from. You know, there's trouble getting up through. Support. Now it's resistance again. So then we have a secondary one right up here. So really we need to get up to maybe the 43 area before we can see a breakout. So we had resistance again here, prior highs. So 46 may be a significant resistance. If we can get through there, 49, 50, 53, 56, 60, I mean this thing could get some legs so I'm gonna leave it on the watch list for this week um, let's see I need a alert around 41 all right GLD that's a lot of sideways roadmap line is so thin you can't even see it on this daily chart. But if we could get broken out of here, we could go. It's just tighten, tighten, tighten. So what we got going on here looks more like this, not a classic roadmap setup. When it breaks out of this triangle, it's going to go. Whether it's up or down, it's going to go. What the heck just happened here? All 
Alright. That one's just gonna come off the list. GT. I don't think this is one that's been on the list before. Run back through and check here. GL looks good, cost looks good, DIA looks fair, Ford looks fair, FAS looks good, FCX looks good, GT. Okay, so this has already got that big one, two, three. So we had this. Um, yeah, this two more. A right there, B up here, a C down here. This leg, this leg, yep, right to it. Got 100% right there. So this move down, A equals C. We had this move up, and we had another one, a smaller one, two, three down, but higher low. Not quite an ABC, or A equals C, I mean. Love that higher low. Making a higher low again. So this one is pretty set up. All right, let's remove the drawings. Check this out. Yeah, it confirmed, but it came back down. All right, minimum, we need to see 23. This has got to get up in here. Set my alert there. 26.65, 28.89 on the upside. I'm looking for 23. HD in the roadmap line. Could not get above that black line. Look at that. So I'm going to cut it from the list this week. The alert's still there if it can get bullish. Below the roadmap line. Below the roadmap line. KR looking okay this week. I'm going to say that zone goes down to here. See how we have this tail over here and the tail up in here this, this is a area of battle yeah, it comes across over here too these candles so it's had trouble getting in that up through that zone minimum aggressive entry here but then you're getting to this resistance right above that which can be dangerous but if you wanted to trade it aggressively, otherwise you want to wait till a move up here around 40, we'll say It sets us up for 52, 54, 59. All right. KRE. Man, so many of these look really nice. Let's see, 
higher low, higher low, higher low, extending out each time. Watch that resistance. Minimum would be breaking above this, but you're right into that resistance. So I'm going to be looking for probably a move up above that high right there. This one, this candle right there. That high, probably 76. LAC still our, our favorite. I mean, almost got to move up through there this week. Almost. Doesn't count, but it was almost. It still looks really good for this move to me. You could, uh, more advanced strategy, you could sell puts right down here around 24, 23, and you could do a covered call in this area, um, you know, 25, 26, 27, even out for a month or two even, and make some extra money. If it gets up in there, takes you out, that's okay. If it, uh, doesn't quite get that far that fast you can keep um, moving your upside or you can just go long shares or you can go long options but you probably want to be looking out later this year or even leaps up to January 23 or 24 I don't know if those exist on LAC but Let's see, that one is down in there this week. And we're gonna cut it. Same setup, it still looks good. It just hadn't gone yet. Lowe's couldn't clear the black line. That's why I put it where I put it. You would wanna be long above there on a close, like a daily close above there, but the daily close wasn't above there, it was just on there, poked up and rejected, came all the way back to the roadmap line, if this higher low holds, blasts up through here again, then it's good, keep it on the list this week, LRCX, no good, Macy's, still, this, this looks really ripe right here, that needs to come over to lower low, Numbers don't really adjust. Still got to give up above this black line right here. Once we're above there, watch the resistance here, and we can take off. MCD, if you're going to go along this one, if you're not long off this, you see we found some resistance here. So now we have this high, we need to be above. If you got long already, it's a nice setup. It may retrace back down in here one more time because we didn't really have a an ABC down. Watch the watch a move back down below this low if you're long already. But it's pretty set up to go right now. Got the dividend coming up, and then the earnings are way on out here. So, MGM still the same, higher low. Got resistance of that six one eight. Got to get up through there. M R V L. Very nice roadmap pullback. Minimum.
I see a move up through here. resistance right there see those tails right around that 618 level it's kind of weird the 618 level was there before it was even there isn't that interesting so it was here before it even topped I'm going to leave it since it's marginally above the roadmap line. Again, marginally above the thing, the levels already defined from last week or maybe two weeks ago. That's what we got right there. that one too. Noki just keeps on hanging with the roadmap line. I think I mentioned if it couldn't get up through the 618, it'd revisit one more time. That's what it's done. If it bounces here, this could be a good one, but I just don't know. We'll leave it for now. In you, that was a wicked move down let's see yeah so a b c just poke through that's kind of wicked Right up to the 618. Danger zone. This one right here has got a nice fat resistance. Need to be above here to be looking for something. Then you gotta watch that prior high, so might not be a breakout till there. This is a dangerous one. If you're into it. That's uh, okay. But for my money, I'd probably look at something else. So I'm going to cut it. This is just it's tough. I mean, it, it's kind of a roadmap setup, but it's, it's got a lot of headwinds. And I'd like to set you up for success instead of, like, possible crap. <laughs> NVDA still not above the roadmap line this is the new line it's got to go above moving it up to the top the high there and really I probably want to see it get above here since it's down in the roadmap line I'm gonna cut it for now O in this line moves up here now if you're not in already I would wait until I move up through this 6180 area that's like a daily close up here and then you gotta get through the 618 so really it's probably not something you want to mess with till almost 65 possibly even getting above this right here. But that's a roadmap setup. ONB. Yeah, that's a roadmap setup. I've got to watch this prior crap over here. Yeah, I think it's having trouble. See, look at this big swing. It created some resistance. 
Yeah, this is more of a one, two, three, four, five. This is kind of a one, two, three. So this is a potentially dangerous setup to go down lower. Definitely need to see it back up here around 20. This one could come down to 15. Technically a roadmap setup, but it has some headwinds to going out there. Higher probability move is down here. doesn't negate the setup this does have a higher lows coming up through here I move up through here can set it up to get out to targets watch a break of that trend line KFE nope you in man I, I just I don't like this setup PPC it's just consolidated for a whole week here right above the roadmap line the price is so high I'm just gonna cut it QQQ still below the roadmap line SMH below the roadmap line. Zoom it up so you can see a little better. It's below. Alright. SOXL below the roadmap line. SPG. Still the same parameters. Gotta get above that high it made back here SPY bounced off the resistance it's in the roadmap line so I'm gonna cut it this week big caution this could this is like a big red flag does it bounce down So this is the support zone right here where it missed that pivot. Now it can come down here, find support, and go. If it breaks through there, it's probably going to get a lower low. Clear this garbage back out before it gets ready to go. That resistance held spectacularly. So... All right, that's super dangerous right there. If we start down next week, right there. That's um, not a roadmap setup right now. Below the roadmap line on TECO, Tesla. If you wanted to be aggressive, you could put another line right in here. Probably right there. But I'd wait till it confirmed back above this big rejection off that pivot. Technically a roadmap setup. It did come down almost to the 1272.
that's the possible upside around 1500 There's not really been a trend going, so that's not a roadmap setup. Well, it is above the roadmap line bouncing, but that's not. Uh, we're looking for something that's a trend, you know, the uptrend. That's sideways. UUP doesn't even come down to the roadmap line. WBA is not a trend coming into this. XLI, now let's see, this is an uptrend. It's just got some serious chop here. Man, it's a expanding higher highs and lower lows. That's volatility building there. I'm talking about, you like run this across here. It's getting higher. Unlike the GLD earlier, run this down through here, it's getting wider. That's not exactly what you want to be seeing. It's expanded volatility. Super hard to trade. And it's below the roadmap line. XLK, still the same parameters. Gotta get back above up here. XLNX, really need to see something come up here. And this one sh is like a merger acquisition target, so be careful. XLU, still need to see a move up through here, above 70. XLV, same situation, a move up, up, up through 136. XLY down below the road map. XME got that consolidation, but the uptrend is still intact. We made a higher high, we made a higher low. Need to clear that zone. So entry probably be around forty. 555 ish. Put an alert here. This one could take us out to 50. Or even up, you know, here to 53. Next target up, 58. And ZS below the one. So, all right. ABT, AMD, AVGO, COST, DIA, Ford F, FAS. I think that one could really rock it. So, um, FCX, GT, KR. K R E L A C L O W M M C D McDonald's M G M Marvel Microsoft Noki On Semiconductor O N B 
SPG, Tesla, TSLA, XLK, XLNX, XLU, XLV, and XME. So right now it's super busy for the roadmap system. Um, lots of opportunity, lots of things to watch. So be careful. But this is a with this big market pullback, it's a prime opportunity to pick up some of these higher quality setups and ride them out to lofty targets as we do the next extension after we get done with this correction. All right. So thanks for watching. This was the update for February 6, 2022. If you like the content, make sure you like and subscribe on YouTube. And I'll be back with you again next week.